Was this beauty queen, who's accused of plotting to kill her wealthy husband, being hunted herself? In a just released 911 call, Lindsay Shiver's estranged husband tells police a mysterious envelope was delivered to his home. Inside was a thumb drive like this. It didn't have a return to sender address or anything, and so I plugged the thumb drive in, and it had all these pictures of my wife on it um, about two weeks ago when we were out of the country. It looks like, glancing through, it was almost like a private investigator. Robert Shiver tells police the photos were apparently taken of his wife while they were on spring break with their three kids in the Bahamas. So I don't know if we have a potential stalker or some lunatic that's in town that has been following my wife around. Just two weeks later, Robert filed for divorce, claiming Lindsay was having an affair in the Bahamas with a local man she knew. The drama didn't stop with the 911 call. On April 30th, Lindsay called police in Georgia herself, claiming her mother-in-law wouldn't return her children. My in-laws are in the parking lot right there. Court TV's Vinnie Politan has been following the case. She was upset that her husband would let his parents, the children's grandparents, actually take care of the three kids. Lindsay's mother-in-law can also be seen on the police body cam. She says Lindsay's own parents were worried about her mental health. Lindsay was not answering their phone calls all day today. So they thought she killed herself, to be honest. She's hypomanic, which is a mental issue. All three of the people in the car have a issue. Perplexed cops tried to figure out the family dynamics. Where has your husband been staying? Oh, at my house. Okay. It's a lovely situation. It gets much more difficult when you've decided to split and you're still cohabitating. Even if it's a $2.5 million home, it still gets a little uncomfortable. Lindsay Shiver denies any wrongdoing.